Each week on Motoring TV, we bring you stories about cars and the people who drive them. And the people who drive them. And the people who drive them. Well, this week we thought we'd try something a little different. And we're in New Hamburg, Ontario, home of Argo, to check out its line of amphibious ATVs, including the all new LX series. The company's been around for uh, over 50 years. Uh, we started uh, with gearbox manufacturing and morphed into uh, doing these amphibious vehicles. So the, the six wheel and eight wheel platform that we produce today, actually that platform goes back almost 50 years and it predates UTVs and ATVs, um, even three wheelers. So we've been around for a long time and we've been evolving the brand ever since. Powertrain and equipment aside, not much about the Argo has changed over the years, with the same quirky looks and tank-like drivability making it stand out from the competition five decades later. The UTV is uh, the big market today, it's a uh, side-by-side, -side, the four-wheelers. They, they tend to go uh, a little faster than we go, but when it comes to really tough terrain, especially if there's any water involved, uh, our machines uh, do stand out above the crowd. They, uh, for ice fishing and stuff like that, when uh, if there's any risk of falling through ice, you definitely want to be in an Argo. Uh, if you do happen to go through the ice, the Argo will, uh, will just sit there and float while you figure out a way out, whereas a, a UTV or an ATV tends to sink pretty quickly. Available in six and eight wheel configurations, the Argo can go just about anywhere you can imagine, from wilderness to water, proving easy to use and more than capable in any situation. And now the company is hoping to bring that go-anywhere ability to the cottage, with the all-new LX series offering luxury add-ons to match the Argo's aptitude. And the LX goes after the uh, higher end, uh, the cottage crowd, the recreational user. It's, uh, the, it's based on the HD platform. It uses our top-of-the-line uh, uh, skid steer transmission. It uses our, our new beadlock wheels and it's got a very soft ride and includes a couple of real neat features like a stereo, a USB port, uh, things like that. Even at the, on the most luxurious Argo that you can buy, you still have the ability to go into the forest and go through things that ATVs can't make it through. And is there anything you wanted to add? Uh, go Argos? No. <laughs> Sure, an Argo's not a car, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. With the road and the track about the only two places you can't take one. And at the end of the day, life's about more than what you drive to work.